Okay. So we have, uh, we want to talk about DNA. So this is the ribose sugar. Uh, you see what the type of binding they bind to the nitrogen or space, in this case, adenine, via we call this bond N, N glycosidic bond. Okay. Uh, and this is the ribose sugar. Uh, at two prime position, we have H. So we call this deoxy uh, ribose. And we have at the five prime position, we have the phosphorus, the phosphor group here. Uh, and this DNA, we read it from five prime position to three prime. So we have the head five prime and we have the tail three prime. So we always read it from head to tail, okay? Uh, and then we we want to explain uh, the other bonds. So the ribose sugar, the deoxyribose in this case, it will bind to the other one via what we call this phosphodiester bond or phosphodiester linkage. So this bond, we call it phosphodiester bond, okay? So the phosphodiester bond binds the two ribose sugar together. Uh, phosphodiester, because it has phosphate group, so we call this phosphodiester. Uh, the same thing for the other ribose. The other ribose will bind to the other one via phosphodiester bond, okay? Uh, yeah, so you need to know the N-glycosidic bond and the phosphodiester bond. Uh, for in the case of RNA, it's the same, but uh, uh, it's the same thing. But we have only OH at the two prime position. Uh, so OH, uh, this is only uh, happening in the RNA, not in the DNA, and it also ha has an glycosidic bond here. We're binding with uridine. This is pyrimidine. Uh, and we have the phosphodiester bond here, okay? The phosphodiester bond. Okay. The phosphodiester bond uh, that binds the with the other ribose, okay? Hydrogen bonding interactions. Two bases can hydrogen bond to form a base pair. Uh, two bases, uh, pyrimidine always base pair with burines, okay? For example, adenine with all, all, always base pair with thiamine, iguanine always base pair with uh, cytidine, okay? Uh, for, uh, uh, if in polynucleotides uh, only a few possibilities uh, exist, Watson and uh, Crick bases. هذا العلماء اللي اكتشفوا Watson and Crick base. Base. عشان كده سموا ال 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 سموا هذا ش هذا ال 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 A base pairs with T and C base pair with G. سموها Watson and Crick base pairing. Okay. Predominant in double stranded DNA. Uh, as I said, burine always base pair with pyrimidines. But uh, you know this is like uh, in general for DNA and RNA. But some types of uh, ribosomal RNA like tRNA as I, I will show you later, uh, it does not follow the Watson and the Crick base pairing, okay? Uh, AT, uh, adenine base pair with thiamine uh, and uh, guanine always, always base pair with cyt cytosine base pairs. Uh, uh, base pairing uh, between the adenine and thiamine, uh, as you can see here, always have two hydrogen bonds, okay? This forming two hydrogen bonding. This is one hydrogen bond. We represent, always we represent the hydrogen bond with three dashes or three dots, as you can see here. So uh, the length is three angstrom. The angstrom is 10 to minus uh, 10, okay? The nano is 10 to minus 9. The angstrom is 0.1 nanometer, okay? 
Uh, so it's telling you the length. Uh, in this font, the length is shorter, is 2.8 angstrom, okay? Uh, for the case, if, if a guanine base pairs with site to scene, then we will have three hydrogen bonding. Uh, and you see the length is uh, two of them, it's 2.9 angstrom. And uh, this one is a little longer, it's three uh, angstrom. Uh, and uh, uh, you know the, the hydrogen bonding, as you can see, the the the, the length between adenine and thiamine here it's 11.1 angstrom. This is when we have two hydrogen bonding. But in case we have three hydrogen bonding, you see the length uh, is decreasing. It's 10 to 10.8, so it they are stacking closely to each other. Okay. Uh, this is because the hydrogen bonding. If we have more hydrogen bonding, they will come even more closer. Uh, Watson and the Crick model of BDNA. BDNA is biologically the most common. How will standard? The BDNA is the standard one. Yani, how will موجود في الخلايا as يعني the cells they contain BDNA. Okay. It's the most important and the standard one. Uh, if you can see the BDNA, yes, we have uh, A and Z. I will show you in the next slide. Uh, BDNA, as you can see here, I want you to focus on the groove. It has like, because it's forming helix, this is a helix. So this form like a major, this, we, this is a minor, okay? This is minor and this is major groove. Okay, major group is bigger than the minor. This is minor. Okay, minor group. The group is is the, like the whole. So the they call this major group. And here we have minor or major major group. We have major because it's bigger. Okay, here this is major group. Okay. So the BDNA has minor and major groove. Uh, uh, yes, and this is the three-dimensional structure. It's showing here. These are the blue is the ribose, uh, uh, the ribose, the backbone of the BDNA. Okay. Uh, other forms of DNA. This uh, we beside B form DNA. Uh, I showed you in the previous slide. We have A DNA, and we have Z DNA. Z it's like Z zigzag, zigzag DNA. So it's forming like a zigzag. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, so this is actually unusual. The Z form is unusual, strange uh, uh, conformation of DNA. Uh, the famous one is the B. DNA is the standard one. مضروب Z. Ah, يعني Z على شكل zigzag. Yes. We have the A form. ما ما تصير كيف والله ما ما فهمت سؤالك يعني ممكن تعيد. فا these are the three forms of DNA. Okay. So we have a table in the next slide, yes. Uh, please uh, focus on this table so you know the differences between all types of uh, DNA. متى يكون عندك الشكل هو Z يعني على شكل Z zigzag, okay? فال A form اللي يعتبر right handed اوكي okay. الهيليكال سينس اور الهيليكال على شكل right handed if you if you grab it with your right hand your uh, finger will point to the right okay. uh, يعني right handed هو احيان uh, they call it uh, clockwise it's run, uh, when you go down the helices you will go like uh, clockwise okay يعني هو لما تنزل من فوق الى تحت حيكون clockwise اوكي clockwise وهذا ايضا راح يكون 
clockwise. Okay, this is counterclockwise. Okay, عشان كده قالوا left-handed. فاا خلينا نشوف يعني في السلايد اللي هو ما أدري موجود. أوكي خلينا نروح للسلايد اللي قبله. Okay, هذا A form it's right-handed. So if you grab it, you would grab it with your right hand, and your last finger will point exactly the same. It will point there. Okay, if you grab it with your right hand, the same thing. You grab this with your right hand, and then, and then it will point to the the last finger point there. This is left-handed. Okay. This is left-handed. You grab it with your left, okay, and it will point there. This is left-handed, okay. Uh, this uh, one is running uh, uh, clockwise. This is also clockwise. This is counter-clockwise, okay. If you go down from here, you see. Clockwise, okay. The same thing here. Clockwise, okay. Helical uh, sense, right-handed, right-handed. This is left-handed. Diameter, diameter, diameter. Have a diameter. Okay, the diameter. This is like. Let me see the diameter. Oh, sorry. This is, should be shorter. Z form should has it's less. Uh, the diameter should be less. Say, uh, Z form. Uh, it diameter 18. Yes. So the diameter A form is 26 angstrom. B form is 20, and Z form is is the uh, is 18 angstrom. So the diameter is less in Z form. The big uh, diameter is uh, A form. Uh, Z form is uh, counterclockwise Z form because it's left-handed. Left-handed, yes. Okay. So the diameter uh, base bears. Uh, uh, the A form has is the it has more diameter. Let me see. So, uh, it's uh, 26 LA4, other 26. What a, a small diameter Z4. Okay, base pairs bear helical 10. And, uh, the number of base pair that uh, that uh, uh, form uh, uh, one helical turn, we need uh, an A form. Uh, yeah, try to. Uh, you have to know this. They might ask you a question about uh, the air form, and the, but uh, yeah, focus uh, on this table uh, and understand it, please. Uh, base pairs bear helical can. Uh, we need eleven here. The B form, uh, we need the list base pair, uh, the base pair of 10. Here we need more base pair, okay? Base pairs per helical turn. Yani we need more base pair to form Z form. Uh, helix rise per base pair uh, between each basis. Uh, we have 2.6 angstrom. In the B form, we have 3.4, Z form 3.8. Seven angstrom, base tilt normal to the helix axis. Uh, tilt uh, uh, normal to the helix axis. We have twenty angstrom. Six and seven, base tilt normal to the helix uh, axis. Uh, we have the sugar backer backer conformation and C three endo C. Uh, two prime endo. Here we have C2 and C3 for purines, C2 for bermidines, 
عندك الجيري كوسايل بوند كونفورميشن هنا الرايبوز لما يرتبط مع النيتروجين وسبيس We have always anti, anti. We here we have anti for pyrimidines, so sin for purines. Okay. This okay. Uh, this is the table. So complementarity of DNA strands. Uh, we always this uh, this strand of running from five prime to three prime is complement to the to the other strand that's running from five prime to three prime. So they are complement to each other. Uh, complement means uh, two chains are complementary. Two chains run uh, anti parallel. They run anti parallel. This is from five prime to three prime, and this is starting from three prime to five prime. That's why they are anti parallel. Uh, 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 complement uh, uh, the burine or uh, base pair with pyrimidines, like cytosine base pair with guanine, adenine base pair with thiamine, and so on. DNA denaturation. Uh, uh, covalent point. Uh, this is the double stranded DNA. Uh, we can denature this DNA by two methods. We can use heat. We heat it uh, uh, to 100 Celsius. Uh, we can use also the pH. So two methods, either pH or heating. So by doing this, the double-stranded DNA will separate from each other. So the two strands will, will come apart. So we have this uh, partially, we call this partially denatured DNA because it only uh, have that DNA uh, denatured. Uh, uh, if we continue the heating, then it will come apart completely. So this is a complete denaturation, separated strands of DNA and random coils. Uh, this is one thing. The other thing, this uh, this step is, is actually reversible. So how can we reverse this? If we denature the DNA completely, we can call it down come, uh, or change the pH. If we change the uh, or decrease the temperature to normal temperature, they will come down. And this process, we call it annealing. So uh, what, you have to differentiate between denaturation and annealing. Denaturation to separate the DNA strands uh, apart from each other, and meaning to let it come close to each other. So this step is reversible. Uh, uh, what makes, uh, why the DNA is, uh, is uh, we can denature DNA and then uh, annealing. Why, why this step is happening is because the hydrogen bonds are broken. So the hydrogen bonds, we can break it uh, by heating, uh, and then if you call it down, they will join together again. So they are very flexible bonding. The uh, hydrogen bond is not covalent, really. It's not like a, a covalent bond. Uh, uh, no, they can come to each other, yani. It's a hydrogen bonding. Uh, base stacking is lost. UOV absorbance increases. Uh, يعني لما يصير لدينيتشريشن ال UV absorbance will increase يعني you will have more uh, absorbance uh, denaturation can be induced by high temperature or change in pH هذه وضحناها denaturation may be reversible هذه العملية reversible we call it annealing okay please remember this word annealing okay RNA types, ribonucleic acids play three well-understood roles in living cells. Yeah, we have three major types of RNA. The first one we call it messenger RNA, mRNA, with a, uh, abbreviated as mRNA, encodes the amino acid sequences of all the polypeptides found in the cells. Uh, the messenger RNA is the uh, RNA that will carry the uh, the genetic information from the DNA. Okay, it will carry the genetic information from the DNA and transport it and go to the cytosol or the cytoplasm 
for the uh, so it's it has a major important role in in uh, transcription okay transcription we have transcription and translation uh, this is uh, important for the transcription transcription of the genetic information from the dna we have transfer t, uh, tRNA matches their anticodon to the mRNA while carrying a specific amino acid used for protein synthesis. هذا مهم في عملية translation, okay? Because it carry the uh, it has anticodon uh, and it will carry the amino acids. It will bind to the messenger RNA and it will leave the amino acids. Uh, so it's very important for the translation and for the synthesis of protein. Uh, we have the ribosomal RNA. We, call, we have deviated uh, R ribosomal RNA. is constituents of the large and small ribosomal subunits. I will show you this in the last slide. Uh, ribosomal RNA will factory. Uh, uh, it's the factory for the uh, protein synthesis or the protein or the uh, translation okay the messenger RNA code carrier for the sequence of proteins is synthesized using DNA template the messenger RNA we synthesize it from the DNA template okay this means we have to denature the DNA the denature will uh, the DNA will denature and then we'll synthesize the messenger RNA as a single stranded, okay, messenger RNA single stranded. Uh, contains ribose instead of deoxyribose, how do you want to have Ribose to prime has, has OH instead of H in the DNA. Contains uracil, okay, it has uracil instead of thiamine. Yani uh, we, we use the DNA as a template, it's thiamine, it's thiamine for DNA, it will become uracil in the messenger RNA, okay? So this one will be translated to uracil in case of uh, messenger RNA. When mRNA may code for more than one proteins, yes, yani mungkin one mRNA uh, code for more than one protein, whether we call it polycystronic, as we can see, uh, I will show you in the coming slides. Together with transfer RNA, tRNA transfers genetic information from DNA to protein. Okay, this uh, this process the we call it transcription and the translation. Uh, this is the single stranded messenger RNA. Uh, this is the three dimensional structure. Uh, the messenger RNA uh, it can be monocystronic, uh, monocystronic or polycystronic. Monocystronic mRNA that codes for only one protein or polycystronic codes for more than one protein. Why? Because if you can come back to the DNA, the DNA in, in, in case of monocystronic, it's only one gene. So one gene, uh, uh, it will be uh, transcribed in the mRNA and then will produce one protein, okay? But in the case, um, the mRNA can be even longer, this is short, can be longer and the trans uh, uh, get the, tra the transcription from DNA can be uh, transcribed more than one gene, gene one, two, three. This, in this case, we'll have uh, we call it polycystronic and we, we will try the translation will produce more than one protein okay maybe two three depends on the gene three dimension structure of tRNA uh, the tRNA yeah Shabab is not following the Watson and the Crick base pairing in the term of Watson Crick base pairing adenine my always base pair with thiamine or cytosine or guanine. In the case of tRNA, it's not following this rule. Okay, this rule is not applicable in this case. So that's why they call uh, complex structures are stabilized by non Watson Crick base pair interaction. Uh, you see here the guanine, the guanine. Uh, 
uh, yes, it should base pair with cytosine in this case, but you see the guanine also base pair with guanine in the other seven methyl guanine. So this is not uh, what's around the correct base pairing. Okay. Uh, yes, for the this is only for tRNA transfer RNA. Uh, three-dimensional structure of ribosomes. Now we want to show you the three-dimensional structure of ribosome. A ribosome, as I told you, is the factory. Is the factory where the proteins, uh, where the translation occurs. So the translation occurs in the ribosome. Uh, the messenger RNA will bind to the ribosome. Okay, this is the mRNA. It will bind in the ribosomal RNA. Uh, the ribosomal RNA, ya shabab, it contains two subunit of proteins. This is one, and this is two. Okay, this subunit is we call it the small subunit. It's 40s. Okay, this is a small subunit, and the large subunit is the 60s. Both of them, they 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 form the large uh, or the the whole ribosome. So the ribosome has two subunits. Uh, also, the ribosome, this is the protein. Also, the ribosome has RNA. It is ribosomal RNA. You see, this is the ribosomal RNA. And uh, this is the ribosomal RNA. This ribosomal RNA, so both of them, the protein and the ribosome, we call them ribosomes. OK? This is the ribosomes. OK, Shabab? This will uh, and the tRNA. It will. This is the mRNA has a codon. The tRNA has anti-codon, so it will bring the amino acids, and it will bind here. Uh, the tRNA, and it will leave the the amino acids. So we will have silsila min al ahmad al aminiya produced. Okay. So uh, I don't know, uh, guys, if you uh, learn about transcription, translation. Uh, I don't know, but this is the process of transcription and translation. So ribosome is important for what? Translation. Uh, translation of what? Of the, uh, the mRNA that has the genetic or the, uh, it has the, uh, trans the transcription and translation, yes. So this is, I think, the, the last slide. So if you have any question, if not, we can move to the next lecture. We still have about uh, about uh, 20 minutes. Any question? OK. Okay, this is the last uh, uh, chapter, I think. So, nucleotide metabolism. So now, uh, since you learned about the structure of uh, DNA, RNA, and the nucleotides, how they bind to each other, and the, you know uh, all the structures, now we're going to talk about the metabolism. So at the end of these lectures, the student should be able to describe beauty synthesis and the uh, pyrimidine synthesis and describe the synthesis of deoxyribonucleotides the DNA and explain regulation and the nucleotide synthesis. So all these processes, uh, the body can synthesize all these, uh, okay? 
a nucleotide biosynthesis. A nucleotide can be synthesized de novo from the beginning or from the scratch from amino acids. And we need the amino acids as the building blocks to synthesize the nucleotides are amino acids, ribose 5 phosphate, CO2, and NH3. This is coming from the amino acids. So nucleotides can be selfished or recycled. Selfish mean he recycled. Uh, nucleotide can be selfished from RNA, DNA, and uh, cofactor degradation. Yani, uh, uh, if RNA, uh, for example, messenger RNA degraded, it uh, uh, will use the nucleotides, will recycle it for the synthesis of uh, a new nucleotide. Okay. De novo biosynthesis of nucleotides. Approximately the same in all organisms studied. Yani, st they studied different organisms and they found it. Uh, they found it to be the same. Uh, phospho uh, ribosyl pyrophosphate. Had a uh, This is is made from ribose five phosphatine uh, activated ribose. Uh, we need the the PRPB. You are phospho ribosyl pyro phosphate, phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate. Uh, we need also uh, glutamine. Alhamdulillah, amine glutamine uh, provides the amino group. We need the glycine is the precursor for purines. We need aspara aspartate. These are all amino acids. Aspartate is the precursor. The precursor, the precursor amino building blocks, who are the for the biosynthesis of pyrimidines and biurine. So aspartate is important for both biurine and pyrimidines and biurine. The nucleotide pools, except ATB, are kept low, so cells must continually synthesize them. Why they are kept low? because we synthesize it only when we need it, okay? So uh, we don't ma make extra, no. Uh, when we need it, we make it. Uh, this synthesis may actually limit rates of transcription and replication. Uh, transcription, uh, 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 transcription, uh, uh, transcription, uh, uh, mRNA, where replication, DNA, لما يتكاثر ريبليكيت يتكاثر فاحنا وي هاف مور يعني 1 دي ان اي ويجيف 2 3 4 دي ان اي ذيس از وي كول ات ريبليكيشن يعني وهذه العمليه مهمه الريبليكيشن احيانا في خلل في الدي ان اي ف تو فيكس ات وي نيد تو ريبليكيت ذا دي ان اي رايبوس 5 فوسفيت از ميد باي بنتوز فوسفيت باث واي did you guys learn about the pentose phosphate pathway with Dr. Muhammad Hamid? Yeah, okay, so you know about this. That's good. So we this uh, uh, the pentose phosphate pathway, you see we need the ribose 5-phosphate that will give to the PRPP, okay? Uh, so this is like a building blocks, ribose 5-phosphate. So we get this from the pentose phosphate pathway, a glucose six phosphate, the was the glucose six phosphate dehydrogenase, yeah, the six phosphogluconate, six phosphogluconate, uh and the another enzyme, uh was the decarboxylation enzyme, it will give ribulose five phosphate, ribulose five phosphate, another enzyme will convert it to ribose five phosphate. How the more like muhim cleaner side did you give it? Ah, sorry. The ribose 5 phosphate is important for the PRPP. Okay? The PRPP is important a lot. We will talk about it a lot. On the way, these building blocks that come from the pentose phosphate pathway that we make the nucleotides, the coenzymes, the DNA, the RNA. Okay? طبعا هنا في لوب this loop is important to make the, to keep this uh, to keep the, uh, the level of ribose 5 phosphate up high so uh, ribose 5 phosphate can be converted to glucose 6 phosphate and then it will go on okay let me go back the uh, precursor 
Okay, here and you see the net BH is produced in the PTP, the pentose phosphate pathway. Uh, yes, uh, I want to explain something here. Uh, glutathione reductase had a bad enzyme with him. Oh, uh, it keeps uh, uh, it keeps this uh, this pathway running by by uh, reducing this. So this one, uh, this enzyme, uh, glutathione reductase, uh, will convert the GCC uh, G to 2GSH. We have two hydrogen in the net BH. So it will always keep this, يعني, uh, it does not keep this low, it always keep this high. The cycle is running. It, it keeps running, okay? يعني, uh, it keeps this uh, high. وهذه شغال يعني يحول هذا ترانسفير ذس تو نت بي اتش اوكي سيفر الباث ويز شير 5 فوسفوري بي سي رايبوسيل 1 بايروفوسفيت البي ار بي بي از ان انترميديت سينثيسايز فروم زي ما وضحنا البي ار بي بي سينثيسايز فروم رايبوس 5 فوسفيت ذاتس كامينج فروم ذا بنتوز فوسفيت باث واي uh, via, what's the enzyme that synthesizes this, uh, the PRPB? It's called ribose phosphate pyrophosphokinase, and PRPB synthetase. Okay, it has two names, uh, ribose phosphate pyrophosphokinase, well, uh, PRPB synthetase. Uh, it's a highly regulated allosteric enzyme. يعني تقريبا مهم جدا بعملية التنظيم. وهذا الرياكشن حقه شو الرايبوس فوسفات that's coming from the pentose phosphate pathway. We need one ATV عن طريق الإنزيم ribose phosphate pyrophosphokinase أو اللي هو ال PRPB synthetase. راح يعطي uh, it will give to five phosphoribosyl one pyrophosphate. We are the AMB as a side product. Okay. So this is the PRPP. Okay. Other how well a PRPB. Uh, origin of ring atoms and purines. Uh, 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 this uh, nitrogen is coming from aspartate. So the C carbon from for formate and nitrogen. Uh, these two nitrogen coming from amide and of glutamine, from glutamine. Uh, this carbon is co coming from uh, formate. This whole, the nitrogen with the uh, two carbons, they are coming from glycine. So glycine play an important role for the synthesis of biurine, okay? Uh, this carbon is coming from CO2. Okay, these are all intermediates for the synthesis of purine. Okay. Eight. This is seven. Okay. Dino for biosynthesis of purines begins with BRPP. Okay, شباب هذا PRP and you know from where it came from. From the ribose five phosphate that came that's coming from the pentose phosphate pathway. I mean, you know the origin of PRPP. Synthesis begins with the reaction of 5-phosphoribosyl 1-pyrophosphate, which is PRPP, with a glutamine. So we need both of them. We need the glutamine, so we give the NH3, and we need the, this, the PRP. It's the comedy step. يعني it's the it's the it's the important step in this pathway the committed step or the important step it's this one synthesis of phosphoribosylamine purine ring builds up following addition of two carbons and one nitrogen from glycine the first intermediate with full purine ring is a inosinate Inosinate had a, it has another name, we can call it inosine monophosphate, IMB. Adenine and guanine are synthesized as AMB, عشان adenine, or as uh, GMB, guanine, GMB from, uh, يعني both uh, uh, purines, اللي هي الأدينين والguanine, they are synthesized from 
ذا اي ام بي اللي هو انوسين مونوفوسفيت وراح نشوف كيف يعني construction of IMB to make purines اللي هي adenine اللي هي guanine and adenine we have to start with the IMB okay sorry we have to make IMB okay and now we're gonna see the pathway for the biosynthesis of IMB طبعا we have the PRPB بواسطة انزيم اللي جلوتامين بي ار بي اميدو ترانسفيريز وي نيد جلوتامين از امينو اسيدز راح يخرج على شكل جلوتاميت ويتبرع لنا ب ان اتش 3 زي ما تشوفوا هنا ارتبطت بالكربون رقم واحد حق الفوسفيت او الديوكس اللي هو الرايبوس شوجر فصار 5 فوسفو بيتا دي رايبوسيل امين ذن وي نيد جلايسين ويز اي تي في الانزيم رقم اثنين اللي هو الجار سنتيتيز سنتيتيز معناته يحتاج اي تي في فيعطينا جلايسين اميد رايبو نيوكليوتايد اللي هو الجي اي ار الجي اي ار بواسطه انزيم 3 الجي اي ار ترانسفورميليز نحتاج الفوليت ان ذس كيس It will give four mile glucose. Sorry, four mile glycine amide ribonucleotide. It will be F gar or F G A R. Okay. The cell of the committed step is this. Okay. The first amino group is donated by glutamine and attached to at C one. Of the first committed step of the pathway. So enzyme رقم واحد اللي هو الجلوتامين BRBB amino transferase is the committed step in this pathway. In the pathway that in the pathway that gives IMB. Okay. راح نشوف في النهاية ال IMB. طبعا احنا فين وصلنا ال FGAR هذا بواسطة انزيم رقم أربعة اللي هو ال FGAR amino transferase. راح يعطي الفورمايل جلايسين اميد رايبونيوكليوتايد الاف جام الاف جام بواسطه انزيم اخر اللي هو خمسه الاف جام سايكليز اللي هو له اسم اخر اللي هو اي اي ار سنتيتيز يعني سنتيتيز نحتاج اي تي في يخرج على شكل اي دي في ويعطينا الفايف امينو اميدازول رايبونيوكليوتايد نسميه اي اي ار اوكي An AIR, we also that we need bicarbonate in this case. We also that enzyme six, it's N five CAIR synthetase. Synthetase means we need ATP. We have the N five carboxy amino midazole ribonucleotide. The this. في another step it's more direct it's not gonna give intermediates اللي هي هذه ال ال air بواسطة ال CO2 وإنزيم 6A AIR carboxylase إذا هذه خطوة carboxylation it will give rise to carboxy amino midazole ribonucleotide يعني we have two ways either through this way or indirectly through this way okay we have two enzymes Each enzyme is specific. The enzymes is always specific. Yeah, we need six. The was synthesized here. We need carboxylase in this way. So CAIR, the was the enzyme eight. The who is AI car synthesized. It will give N sexinil five amino in midazole four carboxy amide ribonucleotide. What is the result? They are abbreviated as this one. Okay. This one, بواسطة إنزيم nine, S A I car lyase. إذا هذا تحللي. Fumarate will will go out, and then we will have the F five amino imidazole for carboxy amide ribonucleotide. طبعا هذا ايضا بواسطه تنظيم اخر اللي هو التن اي اي سي ار ترانسفورميليز ونحتاج الفوليت هنا يعطينا انفورمايل ميدازول 
sorry, uh, in formyl amino imidazole for carboxyamide ribonucleotide. وبواسطة تنظيم 11 اللي هو الـ IMB synthetase مهم جدا اوكي يعني دائما في التفاعلات الـ biological reactions يعني try to focus on انا ما اقول لك بالاختبار يعني ولا شيء بس اقول لك دائما if you have chemical or biochemical reactions طويل مثل هذا الـ pathway ركز على الـ committed steps ركز على ال first or the first few steps وال last عشان كذا أنا يوم جيت عند ال last step قلت لك وهذا important عشان هو المهم يعني ممكن أنا لو بعطي اختبار أجيب ال last step عشان إحنا بحاجة إلى do we have to memorize the whole process أنت يعني والله أنا ما أعرف عن الأسئلة يعني ما راح اكتب الاسئله لكن يعني انا بعطيك انه مهم اللاست ستيب يعني مهم فالاي ام بي سينثيتيز هو المهم الانزيم اللي يقف الاينوسينات اللي هو الاي ام بي اوكي يعني يركز على الفيرست ستيبس واللاست ستيبس يعني الانترميديتس هذه شويه يعني معقدة بس ركز على الفيرست واللاست ستيبس عرفتوا كيف حصلنا على الاي ام بي It's very long process. It's very expensive. يعني ش يعني واحد حسب معي كم ATP ولا ما أنتم معايا كم ATP خلصنا؟ أنا أتوقع كثير يعني راحت ATP كثير. فا it's really it's very expensive. It needs more ATP, more enzymes, أربعة وممكن أكثر يعني صحيح. خمسة آه بالضبط. فهي it's very this pathway it's very expensive. يعني we need all these processes only to synthesize the IMB اللي عن طريقه هذا ال IMB هذا ترى إحنا ما خلصنا ال pathway هذا ال IMB هذا بس ال intermediates المهم اللي اللي عن طريقه بعدين نتوّن ال 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 بيوري ال بيورينز اللي هي الأدينين والجوانين إحنا بنخلص هذه ممكن آخر سلايد راح نخلص وبعدين نتوقف فينا عشان ما طبعا زي ما قالك سينتيسز أو في إم بي عند جي إم بي اللي هو جواني أدينين عند جوانين مونوفوسفيت فروم آي إم بي أوكي أنتوا عرفتوا الآن الآي إم بي فروم من وين جاء نوت ذات أي تي في إز يوز تو فوسفوريليت جي إم بي بريكيرسز يعني الأي تي في إحنا نستعمله شوف حتى هنا نحتاج أي تي في بس هنا الأي تي في نستعمله for the phosphorylation of GMB okay well GTB نستعمله for the phosphorylation of AMB okay وهذه ال reaction موضحة لك هنا إنه سنة ال AMB بواسطة ال GTB ولازم نحتاج aspartate بواسطة انزيم الدين الدينا sorry الدينا ال succinate synthetase synthetase معناته نحتاج ATB يعطينا ادينايل سكسينيت هذا هو وبواسطه تنظيم اخر اسمه ادينايل سوري ادينايل ادينايلو سكسينيت لايس اللايس دائم هو تحللي فيخرج الفيوميريت هو مشابه للس... يخرج الفيوميريت ويعطي ادينايليت اللي هو الاي ام بي اذا احنا صنعنا ادينوسين مونوفوسفيت من وين؟ من الـ IMB. بالنسبة للـ جواني الـ GMB اللي هي جواني ليت بواسطة تنظيم الـ IMB ديهيدروجينيز. هذه عملية ديهيدروجينيز اللي هي أوكسيديشن ريدكشن ريأكشن. نحتاج إلى الـ H2O والناد يتحول إلى ناد H يعني ينتج لنا ناد H ويتحول الـ IMB إلى زانثيليت. زانثيليت اللي هو الـ XMB. الاكس ام بي هذا انترميديت بواسطه تنظيم اخر اللي هو الاكس ام بي جلوتامين اميدو ترانسفيريز وايضا نحتاج الى جلوتامين هنا يخرج على شكل جلوتاميت يتبرع لنا بالان اتش 3 ونحتاج ايضا الاي تي في ومن هذا الانزيم هو اللي يصنع لنا يصنع لنا جيف رايز تو جوانيليت اللي هو الجي ام بي اوكي عرفتوا كيف صنعنا الان تقريبا صنعنا بيورين اللي هي الادينين والجوانين عرفت طريقة تصنيعها إذا أحد عنده سؤال يتفضل إذا ما أحد عنده إن شاء الله we'll continue in the next lecture I think it's next week
يا ان شاء الله نكست ويك ويل فينيش ان شاء الله يعني يعطيكم العافيه جميعا يا شباب مشكورين